Yeah, I want to first talk to you about the U.S. plan to withdraw troops from Syria. Israel is obviously watching this very closely. Uh, the Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu recently met with National Security Advisor John Bolton and Secretary of State Mike Pompeo to express Israel's concerns over the timetable and conditions for the pullout. You, you visited Israel last month and you studied the issues on the ground. What would you like uh, to be addressed in the U.S. pullout from Syria? Do you think this is the right time or was this major policy decision not really thought through all the way? Well, you know, I was just there, and, and thanks for asking that. Um, you know, my background is in military mission planning. Uh, I was first in Israel in 1996 uh, during Passover, and to be able to go back to Israel was incredible, uh, just, I think, uh, for two weeks or about a week coming back on December 14th. You know, to go to the Golan Heights, uh, to go to the Syrian border, you know, to go to the, to the Lebanese border, uh, and even down into the West Bank and Gaza, but it, specifically on the Syrian border, I was surprised at the announcement, but I don't think it's a bad idea to look at removing troops from Syria. I just think we have to do it in a very determined and educated way. Um, did we meet the mission parameters? You know, what exactly is the plan for us to leave Syria? Uh, and what are the goals and objectives that we need to accomplish before we do that? Um, I, I think Mr. Bolton was correct in saying that we shouldn't move troops out of Syria too quickly. We need to do it in a, in a very practice-specific way, because my worry is ISIS, but it's also Iran. Um, for me, Iran is something that um, I think that uh, does scare the Israelis. And in being there, it was, that was their number one priority. I believe it was Iran and the border on Lebanon. But as far as Syria is concerned, I think we need to have a very specific and practice way of, of actually removing our troops from the area. So I agree with Mr. Bolton. Sir, I want to get your reaction to uh, Turkish President uh, Recep Tayyip Erdogan blasting Bolton over comments he made in Israel this week, saying that the 2,000 U.S. troops in Syria will stay until Turkey promises not to attack the Kurdish fighters. How much more difficult does this rift make coordinating the U.S. withdrawal from Syria? I think when you have uh, something said like that, I think it shows that it was a good idea to actually talk to, you know, actually our partners in the region, but also some of the surrounding countries, and also to make sure that we have a good plan getting out of there. I found it a little bit surprising um, that Erdogan came out that negatively about it. However, um, I think that just starts the conversation and, and it actually proves that, uh, that Mr. Bolton was right. We need to have a dialogue first before we remove the troops, and I think this is just a problem we have to address. Um, for me, as a military mission planner, I'm actually... Uh, it's actually a good idea that, um, that we wait to remove those troops right now. I think the president was right to get them out of there, but I think it's a good idea. And I think what we just heard from the Turkish president, I think it, it actually sort of validates our belief that, Mr. Bolton, that we need to have some kind of plan before we get out of there. So uh, Secretary Pompeo said in Jordan Tuesday that Syria, the Syria pullout will not stop U.S. pressure on Iran. Let's take a listen. The president's decision to withdraw our folks from Syria in no way impacts our capacity to deliver on that. And you'll see in the coming days and weeks, um, we are, are redoubling not only our diplomatic, but our commercial efforts to put real pressure on Iran to achieve what it is we set out for them back in May. Now, these are simple asks we ask of the Islamic Republic of Iran to behave like a normal nation, and the coalition is uh, just as committed to it today as it was yesterday. Do you feel the U.S. maximum pressure campaign on Iran is so far achieving the desired effect? My past with Iran makes me uh, uh, probably not quite as objective as I need to be based on uh, my military background. But I'll tell you this, I think the pressure that we put on Iran, I think we need to continue as far as sanctions are concerned. Um, the JCPOA was, was actually a bit disturbing to me when it happened based on the fact that I've worked against sort of Iranian types of, of terrorism activities, especially state-sponsored activities in my past. So right now, um, I think, again, that comes back to Syria. It's not just the ISIS issue, but the Iranian issue. But I believe that we need to continue any type of pressure we have on Iran right now. We need to continue.